Hi everyone, today we will be painting our cute little bag. The first thing you'll need to do is take your scissors out and we're going to cut off whatever tags are on the bag. And there's this cool little chain in the front. We're just going to move that to the back to make it easier. We're going to start off with our white paint. Each of my students were asked to come up with seven positive, seven to eight positive words that would describe themselves. So what we've done is we've compiled these words together and that's what we're putting on the bag. So um, you're going to take your paintbrush out or if you have a white paint marker, acrylic paint marker, then you can use that to start with. It's only the first layer of color and this project takes multiple colors to work with. So we came up with words like um, skilled, joyful, strong, worthy, unique, bold, funny, kind, peaceful, and patient. So we're going to go ahead and start adding some of these words on. I want to start with unique. Some of you have black bags, some of you have red bags. So this one right here is a red bag. And we're going to start off with unique. And I'm just going to go ahead and find a nice spot for it. You want it nice and big. Remember you're going to have to you're going to have to paint it with a paintbrush, so you want to make it easy enough for you to paint. unique. Another word was kind. Let's go ahead and put kind on there. K-I-N-D. Kind. How about peaceful? Let's find a cool place to put peaceful. I'm going to go for the side of the bag. Bold. And we're trying to write these letters nice and big. How about creative? Worthy. Should we do worthy or funny? Let's do funny. Okay. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven words are on there so far. We're going to use our small brush. This is what mine looks like. I'm going to grab a little artist palette that also already has some color on it. I'm going to start with the white and go over these letters.
these are all positive words that describe us. So you're just going to go right over it with the white paint. We're just going over the letters that we created. So we're going to call this our second coat of paint. Those letters are coming, coming out nice and bold with that beautiful titanium white, clean and crisp, nice color. We're not worried about any flaws in this project because there will be so much paint on there you won't notice it. So any flaws will add a little bit of character to it. Thank you to all of the students who sent me words to put on the bag. creative. I'm going to hold this very carefully. Come on over to the side and we're going to put bold in bold letters. And I'm going to work backwards on our peaceful word. That's going to make it easier for me not to cross over and smear paint. This project will be a fairly simple project as you will get to add in your own words or you can follow along with the words that we, we've used here today. But remember that this is a positive bag, so each word that you use must reflect something positive about you. And our last word was funny. I'm going to hold on to the back straps and turn that to the side so we don't smear our bold. Let's see if you can see that. Here we go. Funny. F. F U N. N. And why? Now, if you know me, you know I like to use a lot of color. 
So I'm going to just dive right in. And the first color that I will use will be our yellow. Now, because our background is red or because your background is black, whichever bag you have, it's going to take multiple layers of color. So don't be alarmed if it's not coming out exactly the way you think it should. Just keep working on it. So I'm going to find some different places to put the yellow. I'm just adding the yellow in. And it doesn't need to go everywhere. We're just adding yellow. Next color I'm going to add will be the green. I actually like the green that I gave you guys in your kits a little bit better than the expensive green or the more expensive green. So remember, we're grabbing onto the handles in the back. And we're just adding that green. See how nice that color comes out? And it doesn't have to be the same places where you put the last. We're just adding color in. Be careful not to smear it into your white. Hopefully you have paused to make sure that the white paint was dry. If not, you can just keep going. We'll just clean it up later. And this is where you get to get a little fancy if you decide you wanted to add a little design to it. Now's the time. Next color will be blue. And we're just adding color in now. So just a little bit of patience as we pull it together and we're just adding tons of color in right now if you make a mistake and you get a little paint on your your white words don't worry about it we'll clean it up once we're done adding color I have a little bit of turquoise if you have any of these colors, go ahead and add them in. At this point, you can choose what colors you want to add in, what colors you want to leave out. If your bag is red, I would suggest you don't use a lot of red. If your bag is black, 
I would suggest you don't use a lot of black. I wouldn't suggest you use any black, to be honest, but. I'm just adding the color in. And whatever design you want to add in. This is a fairly easy project. This is our designer bag. Okay, we'll go ahead and catch the size just a little bit. Add some of this color in. We have our funny word right here. I'm going to push that into this little loop so it doesn't smear. And I'm just going to add some of this color in. We're trying very carefully not to add any paint down at the bottom and not to add any paint on the back of the bag. that out and I think it's a good time to add some lavender or light violet that will work same concept we're just filling in some of the areas and adding this color in each time you rinse your brush you're gonna dry it off on your apron or if you have a paper towel nearby, you can do that. But we need the brush nice and dry so that this paint will stick. Add a little bit of that color in. We do the same thing over on the sides. Just adding color in. There's no real rhyme or reason as to how we're doing it. Just using our own personal creativity. Okay, 
accidentally dipped into a color that I wasn't using. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse my brush. And we're going to open up one of these different yellows. And go back over some of our yellow color because that was a um, a little tough on top of the red bag and it's probably tough on top of the black bag as well. I'm just going to add some yellow back in to the bag. We want you to be able to wear this bag with anything. So we're going to add as much color as we can. Just adding yellow in right now. Some of these colors will mix, so we're not going completely over them. Again, we are just adding yellow in, in different areas. And we're just adding in color. Like I said, your paint is still wet, so some of these colors may blend. Sometimes we like it, sometimes we don't. This is what our bag looks like so far. Okay, now I said no red on top of red. However, I really want to add a little bit of magenta to this bag. So I will. Ha ha ha. Let's see what it looks like. Just add just a touch of magenta into some areas. Just a little bit. In some of these areas, I'm adding it right on top of our light lavender. If you have purple and you're trying to make lavender, all you need to do is add a little bit of white. Go ahead and dip into the white with my lavender brush. Let's create a little design here. Okay, we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and we'll come back and add the finishing touches, and that will be in part two of your video. And that's what our bag looks like right now. And I'll see you guys soon.